So our first activity with our place value chart will be to uh, play name that place and name that number. So to do that we're going to have to cut out our numbers. So take a moment. You'll need a scissors and you're going to cut away your numbers and cut them into small rectangular sortable arrangeable numbers. Now that my numbers are cut out, I have them laid out in front of me so that I can get them and place them into the squares. Let's begin building a number. Let's start by putting a zero in the ones place. So we don't have any ones. Let's put a six in the tens place. We have six tens, zero ones, for a value of six tens or sixty. Five in the hundreds place. Now we have five one hundreds, six tens, and zero ones. The number is 560. Now let's put a seven in the tenths place. Now there's something missing from this number right now because to say this number you need a decimal. So let's go ahead and insert a decimal here, a nice big one. When we get to this place we want to say AND to, rep to signal that we're using a decimal. So let's say this number 560 AND 7 tenths. Say that one more time. 560 and 7 tenths. So let's keep building this number a little bit bigger. Let's place a 4 in the thousands place. Not just the thousands period, but the thousands place. It should also be the one thousands place. Now again, to say this number, it helps if we have something to signal that we've gone from the ones period to the thousands period. So let's go ahead and put in a nice big comma in this part of the number. That comma separates the periods. So here we have the ones period with the five, the six, and the zero, and the thousands period starting with the four. Let's say this number. 4,000, notice how we say the period name when we get to the comma, 560 and 7 tenths. Say that one more time by yourself. Four thousand five hundred sixty and 7 tenths. Let's build more. What happens if we put a zero in the ten thousands place and a three in the hundred thousands place? Now let's say that number. 304,560 and 7 tenths. One more time, say that with me. 304,560 and 7 tenths. Notice how this number, we, we almost say it like it's just the only thing there. 304. Then you say the period name, thousands or thousand. 560, like it's the only thing that's there, and 7 tenths. Let's build some more. Let's put a 2 in the millions place. Now, we've all, we're in the millions place, but we're also starting a new period, the millions period. So what do we do? Put a nice big comma to show that we're going to a new period. Say that number with me. Two million, we say the name of the period, 304,560, we don't have to say once, and seven-tenths. 
building further, we put a zero in the 10 millions place and a one in the 100 millions place. Very large number. Let's say that now. 102 million 304,560 and 7 tenths. Two more numbers to add. Let's put 8 in the hundredths place. Now let's say our number. 102,304,560 and 78, like it's the only thing we're saying, hundredths. We end by saying the name of the place value, the decimal place value we're in. One last number. A nine in the thousandths place. All right, let's get ready to say this nice big number. 102,304,560 and 789 thousandths. That is a very large number.